Hey guys, welcome back for a Sephora haul. Today I'm going to show you what I got in my VIB orders. Um, I'm not local to a Sephora, so I had to order online, but I knew exactly what I wanted, so no big deal. Although the site kept crashing, which was so irritating, but I made it through. I did separate my purchases into two orders. Anyways, I'm going to show you what I got. Um, not only did the packaging have like a super cute... You know, you got a bag this time with your online order, but there was also 20% off. So I thought it was a good time to buy a few of the things that I've kind of been debating on. So let me show you, I guess I could show you my samples first, or should we save those? Let's save those to the end. Okay. <laughs> so the first thing that I got is something I've been wanting for a while. I've heard so many people talk about it and I looked it up and it's low toxin. So I decided to go ahead and give it a try. This is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. I know that they've got um, singles, they have blushes now, they even have a blush palette now but I decided to go ahead and get the powder palette. Now I have looked at this and stuff and I noticed that it does get fingerprints like super, super easy. So I'm trying to keep it, you know, it's hard though when you grab a product, you just want to grab it. You don't want to like be real careful. Anyways, so what this comes with is three of their ambient lighting powders and these are supposed to be, you can either use them like as a setting powder or just kind of finishing powder to kind of dust over your face. I wouldn't really call these a highlighter. They're more of just, like it says, like a finishing powder. You can kind of use um, this middle one, which is called iridescent light. You can kind of use that a little bit as a highlight. You could also use, um, which one is it? Dim light, which is the darkest one. You could kind of use that to like, I don't know, give you a more blurred bronzer look if you wanted to. But I'm really excited to be playing around with these. They're very interesting though, because they're kind of more, they're like a dome pillow type shape which is really interesting. Everybody talks about these being very, very soft, so I'm interested to see how they perform, and I hope that they live up to their name because some people love these, some people really don't like them, and they don't think they're worth the money, but I hope they are. And I'm gonna be um, near a Sephora soon, so if they don't work out, you know, you can always exchange and stuff like that. All right, so the next thing I got, St. Tropez Tanning Mitt. I have a natural tanner that I buy off of Vitacost, um, and I just think it applies, any sunless, sunless tanner applies so much better with a mitt. So I went ahead and picked up another St. Tropez mitt. I think these are like $6 and then you get 60% off with your, or 20% off with the VIB sale. The next product I have is from Tarte and this is their limited edition Amazonian clay dual liner. Um, this one I was really excited about, not only because I've been wanting to try out one of their liners for a long time, but also the packaging is so cute and I've been wanting it for a while and then the 20% off pretty much throws you over the edge. Um, it's got the snake print, the same thing that's on the little palette, um, Rainfor or, what is it? Yeah, Rainforest After Dark palette that I reviewed. And I just think it's so adorable. This one is neat because not only does it have the black, um, but it is black and bronze. So bronze on one side, black on the other. I just thought it would be nice. Um, for one, it's gonna take you forever to go through that much liner. Like it's gonna dry out before you can use all of it, I'm pretty sure. Um, so why not have two colors that you can kind of use both of? So I hope it's going to be amazing and as good as everybody says it is. But I got that. Don't know why I'm putting it back in the package. I probably don't need that anymore. <laughs> okay, next thing I got is another Tarte product. This is the Colored Clay Tinted Brow Gel. And I've seen this, but I was really skeptical. I just, I tried their brow um, pencil and I wasn't really a big fan. But I thought, I've been wanting to try a gel that doesn't like... You know how your lashes or your your eyebrows will feel like crispy? I really don't like that, but at the same time, I would like to be able to have some sort of a gel to just kind of keep them like up in place where I want them. So I decided to go ahead and try the Tarte one. I know some people really like it. Some people seem, I don't know, it's divided. Some people really like it, some people don't. That's what it looks like. And then the brush looked like, oh yeah, it's just like a little, almost like a mascara wand, but it's like a twisty, I don't even know how to explain that. It kind of looks like a bottle brush, actually. But it's supposed to be tinted, so it looks kind of light brown. We'll see how that goes. If you guys want to see a first impressions, let me know. Maybe I'll film one of those um, trying this out for the first time. But I believe you're supposed to just do it over your normal brow product and then use this just like a, you know, a tinted gel. I don't think it's supposed to be used by itself. Last product that I got, this is another one of those Bite Beauty um, Lush Fruit Lip Glosses. This is the little mini. I think these are such a stinking good idea because it really does take quite a while to go through a lip gloss. And if it's going to take you like a year to go through one, it's kind of, you know, past its prime in about six months, I think. So I thought, I think the idea of getting smaller ones 
paying half the price like it just makes sense for me plus you can try out you know two colors for the price of one this one is in garnet so it's kind of a more like it's a deeper shade I would still call this it almost looks like a pinky coral but it's very cute they did have some more sheer looking ones but I just thought this would be nice because it gives you more of a more color payoff so anyways those are the things that I got from the VIB sale I was really really excited and I hope you know I'm a little skeptical on some of these products but I hope that they turn out well. If not, Sephora is always great, and they'll always take care of you if something doesn't work out. So, really excited. Let me know if you have tried these products before. You can give me your input, maybe tips on how they work best, or if you tried a similar product and how you like it and all that. Don't forget to like this video if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys soon for another video. Bye, guys.